Sudan's Army Chief Abdel Fattah Al Burhan is scheduled to visit Doha. Foreign ministers of Qatar and Australia speak amid a turbulent Qatar Airways saga. Qatar charity sends 20 Ghanaian orphans on a trip of a lifetime. And finally, Africa's governing body terminates a massive deal with BN Sports. Hi, it's Ali. This is the Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Sudanese Army Chief Abdel Fattah Al Burhan is scheduled to visit Qatar in the coming days as part of a regional tour. The trip was confirmed by Qatar's foreign ministry on Tuesday. Sudanese sources expect Al Burhan to land in Doha as early as Thursday. The visit marks Burhan's first trip to the Gulf region since the war broke out in Sudan back in April. The month's long conflict has led to an estimated death toll of 4,000, with 4.8 million forcibly displaced. Now, Australian Foreign Minister Penny Wong made a phone call to Qatar's Foreign and Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani on Tuesday. The call comes as Australia's federal government faces intense scrutiny over its decision to reject a Qatar Airways request for more flights. A Qatari foreign ministry statement and a representative of Wong said the call focused on relations and made no mention of the saga. The call on Tuesday came as longtime Qantas CEO Alan Joyce stepped down from the company amid an escalating backlash. Now, Qatar charity organized a Umrah trip for 20 of its sponsored orphans in Ghana. The eight day trip is part of the charity's Rofa initiative. Last month, the Qatari entity took a group of Somali orphans on a similar trip of a lifetime. And finally, the Confederation of African Football, African football's governing body, has terminated its biggest broadcast rights deal. The deal with Qatar-based BN Media Group was worth $415 million and was set to run through 2028. The move comes just months before the African Cup of Nations kicks off in the new year and has likely provoked a legal fight between the two parties. BN has yet to publicly comment on the matter. Thank Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.